Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman here with Arceus Media Master Manuals. Today I want to talk to you about an awesome feature about really being able to step your show to the next level, and that is timecode. Now a lot of us have used timecode in some way, shape, or form, perhaps. For example, as a DJ, you may be used to Serato or Tractor timecode. That has a specialized signal that as you go back and forth on your record or CD, it sends a signal to your computer, and that computer in turn, in turn manipulates the MP3 or video file. Well, it's very similar with Media Master Pro and or for well, Express or Pro really. And one of the cool things that you can do is you can have time code go into your computer and your lighting software or console and being able to sync up both shows at the same time. Or if you have multiple media servers, you can ensure that everything will be triggered exactly when you need it to by using time code. Time code is very important, for example, for theatrical stage productions, any kind of performance, anything where timing is of the most important element or, you know, the absolute biggest factor, time code is it. Now, first of all, where do you get time code? You may already have uh, SMPTE time code, but if you don't, you can actually go here where it's, it's actually literally called LTC, and the link is going to be on the um, description on the video. But all you got to do is generate it. So we're going to go ahead and go back here so you can see how that works. Um, let me refresh it. So I want you to see all the default values. Uh, flavor, you know, just leave that. You know, if, if you don't know what you need, I just left it at 29.97. Uh, sample rate, 48. Bit depth, 16 bit. However, on start time, it says 58. Don't do that. Do 00. zero. And then you can set your start time for whatever you want, do the captcha, and generate. And if you use the software or, you know, this website quite a bit, make sure that you donate to them via PayPal because doing stuff like this, you know, isn't exactly free for them. So make sure you give them a thank you gift. Now, going back over here, and obviously as the name suggests, the time code that is currently accepted on Media Master is the SMPTE time code. So now that we've done that, I download it over here and I open up into QuickTime. So how do you get time code into Media Master? Well, I'm running it on the same computer here so you can see what I'm doing. But if I'm going to be doing, for example, if I'm going to be triggering my light, lighting software and Media Master together and I need to trigger remotely, I may have my time code on my phone, right? And you can download plenty of apps to be able to really control. You know, instead of just using your music player, you can download literally a DJ player and play that time code. And a lot of times I've gone, you know, from my phone directly into like my small Yamaha mixer and I've taken one signal into one computer, one into the other computer. Whatever way you do, make sure that you send that stereo signal out. Don't just try to split left and right because you're going to have some adverse results. Now, that being said, this is going to be a multi-part series video because time code on Media Master can control not only your individual videos, but you can even control Q player. And this is where if you're doing an all-out production, that's really important to know. But for now, we're just going to keep it very simple to control a video file. So let's go ahead and open this file up here that I have. And it's basically just a video of a masquerade, some masquerade photos that I downloaded, uh, some stock photos that I downloaded online, and that's it. But let's say that I wanted to actually have this to time code. So on your loop mode, and just in case you didn't see it, click on edit. On your loop mode, you've got all your different looping options. Just click on time code. And you're good to go there. And now I'm going to launch QuickTime. Now QuickTime, I have a loop back on my Yamaha mixer, which basically what I play on QuickTime, this is going to see. And the time code is going to be right here. So when I play the time code, I'm not going to talk, so it'll actually pick it up. When I do talk, you'll see that it's going to disrupt it for a second. But here we go. Let's do this. Time code in. And three, two, one. Notice the time code down here on the bottom. Now watch what happens when I jump. And again, there was a little bit of stammering because that was when I was talking. It is picking up my voice. But again, let's go ahead and if I go now back to a little bit forward. So again, in a nutshell, that's pretty much how time code works. And we're going to discuss later about how to set it up with Q player and such. 
make sure to be able to read the time code if you're plugging it into your computer. You want to make sure that on audio, you have your input device. I'm using my Yamaha AG06 mixer, so I select that from my sources. If I'm just going to do time code straight in through the normal jack of my computer, you want to select the built-in input. And of course, here on your preferences in your time code, you could even do your frame offset. Right now, the source, the only thing you can choose is audio. But on frame offset, if for any reason you need to correct your time code, this is where you can do it. Very simple, very easy to use, but it gets a lot more powerful when we're talking about being able to do it on something such as the Q player. Any questions, comments, or anything that you would like to see in the Media Master tutorial series on my YouTube channel, please leave them below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, click the thumbs up, and share with other event professionals that you believe could benefit from watching these videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a great evening, and God bless.